What the? What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Shelby and Jason show. This week, we're gonna try snacks from Switzerland. Yay! Yay! I don't think I've ever had a snack from Switzerland. Like, they have good chocolate there. Swiss chocolatiers. That's what I've heard. Roger Federer is from there. One of my favorite humans. How this is gonna work is we're going to taste everything in the box, and we're gonna rate it on a scale of one to five. Five being the best, one being not good. And at the end, we'll tie them all up to see how each one scores. Make sure to leave a comment down below on what you think is the best candy. And also let us know what country you think we should do next. Then we'll know which Switzerland snack is the best. Are you ready? Sure am. Let's, Let's get, get into, into it. it. Let's see what we got in there. All right. Fun fact, Switzerland is home to 450 varieties of cheese. Switzerland produces the most chocolate in the world. It comes with this card that he's got that tells you um, different information about Switzerland. And then I think in there also will tell us what's in the box. I wanted to look at it so bad. Got a lot of chips. Let's get all the chips out. Paprika? Yeah, let's do the paprika. Although there Seven. is a is that a jalapeno? Yeah. So these are called Paprika Original Chips. I'm gonna try to pronounce the brand, but I... Zweif, Zweifel? Probably Zweifel? not. Yeah, probably, probably not. Probably not, but you know. These savory potato chips feature an extra boost of flavor with the addition of paprika. Shocker. Ooh. All right. They smell just like regular, like Lay's barbecue chips. Yeah, they do. They smell just like barbecue chips. I like those. They're actually a lot like, you know, normal Lay's barbecue chips. They don't have a lot of the, you know, in your face flavor at the beginning. They're a little bit more bland. Definitely not as salty. Mm. They're smokier. Same consistency though, same crunch. And you get a little bit of a kick. There's a little bit of a spicy. I haven't gotten that yet. Oh really? I feel it at the back of my throat. Just a little bit. Oh, those are really good. I'm gonna give those a four and a half. They're not bad. They don't have a ton of flavor to them. So I'm gonna give them a three. So this is by the same brand. It's the Zweifel. And they're called Dancer Cream Snackheady. Snackheady, yeah. Snackheady. They look like these little guys dancing. It says it's a unique cream flavored crunchy potato snack that will make you want to shake your tail feather. I don't need a treat to do that. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at them! Typical it's, this Shelby. is a full bag. Like, it's actually full. They look like pork rinds. Mmm. Yeah, they're like a... Like Funyuns. Funyuns, yeah, that's it. They're like Funyuns, but they taste different. They're not as uh, oniony. They have a little hint of sweet at the beginning. And it's almost kind of like vinegary after that. I like these. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there it is, right at the end. The it, like vinegary for sure. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, uh. He did. I'm gonna give that one a four out of five. I definitely like that better than the paprika. I know. I kind of have to change my score now because I like these better than those. I think I got a little too excited at the beginning. You did way too excited. I'm gonna give these a four, and these a four and a half. Well, our last bag of chips that we've got for now. Are again from that same Zweifel, Zweifel brand. It says they're wave chips in the flavor Inferno. Pretty cool. And it also says that they're extra crunchy. It says these crunchy chips deliver intense experience in every bite, hellishly sharp and devilishly good. What does it smell like? Oh. I don't smell anything. Really? Yeah. It smells like chili, like a pot of chili. Yeah, I don't know. That was funny. Then. I'm nervous. Texture of like a Ruffles mm. chip. Mm. Spice hits you right on the tongue. That have a really mm. good flavor though. These taste like... What are those things? Ooh, chili. We we have a, a treat like this here too. Oh, flaming Hot Cheetos. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, flaming Hot Cheetos. I mean that spice, yeah, but the flavor... 
No. It's like you're eating a Everything. pot of chili. No, no it's like flaming Hot Cheeto. No. That's a flaming Hot Cheeto and shit. No, it's not. This is a Ruffles looking flaming Hot Cheeto. No. It tastes like you took a pot of chili and you made it into a chip. That's really spicy. I'm gonna feel this later. <laughs> yeah. Woo. It burns. It's already burning. Oh, right. that's spicy. I'm gonna put it at a, you know, a three and a half out of five. I think that they have a really good flavor, but I don't like how spicy they are because I wouldn't be able to eat more than like one or two. Yeah. These would be really good to give to a friend though. I like them. Just to see how they deal with the spice. Yeah. I'm gonna give these chips a four. Haribo or Haribo. I don't know. I think it's Haribo. Uh, these are called Little Cupcakes. I can't read any of the other writing on here, but they look really good. It says, build your own adorable tiny cupcakes with these bite-sized chewy candies. Each color top features a different flavor. Uh, blueberry, orange, oh, uh. vanilla, Ooh. strawberry, mm. cherry, Ooh. lemon, no. lemon biscuit, Yes. caramel cookie. That's mine, give me. That smells so good. Holy crap, that smells it's good. It's the dark brown. Oh, yeah, that one. <gasps> Look at that sponge. Ready? Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Squish them. <laughs> <laughs> that feels good. Squish. Squish. Oh, it's very marshmallowy. y mm. Kind of like, like a stale marshmallow. Yes. It's more. It's not as soft. Same texture though. Mm. Well, flavor is really strong. Mm. I would just say that it's strawberry though that I got. For starting off the candy, I like them. I think I could only eat maybe like three or four at yeah. a time. They're pretty sweet, which They're is really sweet. good. I really like them. I put them in like a little bowl or something like that. I give it a three out of five to start well, the, the candy off. The texture of those is different than the ones that I had. They're probably all different based off the flavor. I give it a three out of five. I'd have to agree. I think I'm gonna go with a three and a, a three. I'm gonna go with a three. <laughs> go <with> a three. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is Milka. Cake and chalk. And it looks like a little cookie bar. Says it's a delicious vanilla cake infused with Milka Alpine milk chocolate pieces in a liquid Milka chocolate center. Sounds good to me. Feels very squishy from yeah, the outside. It felt like marshmallow. Huh. Look. It's a little cake on top. It's in the little paper thing. Gimme. Very soft. Gimme. Here, you take one half, I'll take the other half. Oh, that's crap. Oh, they're stuck. <laughs> mm. Soft, chocolatey, delicious. I could eat a few of these, man. These that's are like really a, good. It's like a chocolate chip cookie or oh. like a chocolate chip muffin. It is like a chocolate chip muffin. It's filled too, a little bit. It's great now. That's a solid five out of 10. Delicious. Best one yet. What do you think? It's hard to beat. When you put cake and chocolate together. That's a five. Especially when you're comparing it to chips. Yeah, yeah. I like cake way better than chips. That's a five for sure. That was so good. Five, solid five. For sure get that if you ever had the chance. Well, I don't know that I can read any of this. It does have flavors on it, which looks like orange, citrus, apple, cola, and uh, Himbergeschmack. I think the brand is, let's just call it Sadix. Sadix. Yeah, I can't pronounce that other stuff. It looks like it's broken. So it says these candy sticks are the perfect mix of tongue tingling sweet and sour flavors. All right, let's give these a shot. Yep, let's try them It kind of looks like sidewalk chalk. Gimme. They just look like big sweet tarts. I feel like that's the cola one. I just, just give me this one. I'll put it on my tongue. Mm. It's like a sweet tart in like stick form. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so sweet. Ooh! Oh, it's sour. That's very sour. I like that. Is it like kind of foamy? Mine foam too. And it's like, is my mouth getting like really saliva-y? <laughs> they like kind of foam Maybe in your that's mouth. why it's called the cola one is because it foams like that in your mouth. I didn't try the cola one. I tried the citrus one. Oh, really? Woo! We came back for round two. I like picked a little bit out of my teeth. <laughs> I like this one. Yeah, yeah, it's foaming up a little bit. I like this one better than I do the softer candies. So I'm gonna give it a, a three and a half out of five. 
I think the experience on this one is cool because you get that weird foam. Experience. It's like after you chew it, it's like a foam in your mouth, like a froth. But I don't really like these too much. I think I'm definitely gonna put them below this. Oh wow. With a two. A two? Yeah, I don't think I'd ever really pick those up. Kyler. Ky Kyler? Sure. I, I can't read anything else on it. Looks like it's got some kind of a nut though. A decadent milk chocolate bar filled with chopped roasted hazelnuts. And it's got little squares. Looks pretty good. There's nuts on the back. I like my nuts on the front. I like that chocolate a lot. It's not really strong. Like it, it doesn't like hit you like a Hershey's bar does. It tastes a little bit creamier. And then the nuttiness gives it a nice texture. Nice little like nutty flavor. I like it. I like the pieces that don't have very much of the nut in it. I think the nut might be my favorite part. Really? <laughs> <laughs> They're too big. Too many nut, too much nuts? Yeah. The nuts are too big? Yeah. There's too many of them in there. Like, that's all I tasted really at the beginning was just the nuts. When I got a piece that had less of the nuts in it and it just was more chocolate, it was better. Sure. I really like it. It tastes really good. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. This is a four and a half for me. I like it a lot. Cola Froshly. Froshly? They're like a little... Sweet hard candies in the shape of little frogs that have a distinctive cola taste. A Swiss favorite for over 80 years. The little frog. I really like the flavor too. It tastes like Coke. It tastes like Coke. Yeah, a sweeter Coke. Like a cherry Coke. I don't think I really like it though. I mean, I love it. I could suck on this all day long. Mm. It's kind of weird. I just don't like cola flavored things. I love it. This is really good. This is probably my favorite candy. Other than the chocolate. Like if I'm going to have cola flavor, I want to have a drink of Coke. I don't want, I don't want it to be a candy. I'm going to give that a two and a half. I'm putting this at a four out of five. Easily a four out of five. Wow. Yeah, I really like it. You know who I bet likes this a lot too? Roger Federer. If you see this, Roger, I love you. So far, I've really liked everything. I'm shocked. Like, I, there hasn't been anything that I've like hated. It's a Munz bar. I can't really read anything on it, otherwise I would. Munz Pregeli Weiss. I'd be surprised if that was actually right. This deliciously rich treat features a chocolate and praline filling mixed with roasted hazelnuts, then dipped in white chocolate. The Swiss really like hazelnuts. I wonder if they're really uh, and I've always wondered local there. Praline is. It's soft. Oh wow. I was expecting crunch. That's a good bar. Oh, it's so good. It's definitely more rich chocolate than the candy bar. Oh, it's so good. I need like a glass of milk to eat that, man. Mm. So the outside is like white chocolate, and then the inside, we've got that like nougat -y kind of. Praline hazelnut stuff. Which is so weird, because it's kind of like, oh, it's kind of like fudge. It is like fudge, yeah, that's what like it is. Like fudge on the inside. It tastes all like fudge, the same consistency, really, really rich. Well, American fudge anyway. Um, as far as like chocolate bars go, I like it. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I'm gonna also give it a four. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't so eat a bunch good. of them, but it's definitely a four out of five. Suga's Fruit Chews. Delicious gummy chews bursting with fruit flavor in every bite. Anyways, so we've got two different flavors. Me. It looks like one is orange. It says strawberry it on the front. and the other is orange. You want the strawberry one? No, I want the orange one. Maybe I want the orange one too. This already reminds me of Taffy. Like flavored Tootsie Rolls. Very chewy. With like Tootsie Rolls and stuff, they break down pretty quickly. These don't t like really break down that much. I've heard a lot of people don't like Tootsie Rolls. I don't really like Tootsie Rolls. I do. They're okay. I get sick mm. of them after like one. I like this though. Flavor's good. Place, I can't place the texture. It's like in between the texture of a Laffy Taffy and a Tootsie Roll. The flavor is good. It's way too chewy. My jaw hurts. That one's okay. Um, I give it a three. I don't really love it. Um, it takes way too long to eat. Honestly, I think I'm gonna give these a five. Yeah. I love a this. A five? 
What is wrong with you? I you love gave the these. frogs a two? And you mm. give that a five? Hello, strawberry cheesecake. Nice to sweet you. This bar looks really cute. Lynn Hello Stick. Milk chocolate with a strawberry cheesecake filling. A perfectly delicious way to introduce yourself to Swiss snacking culture. Mm. I will, indeed. Gimme. It feels really hard. It feels like a Kit Kat. Oh, it looks like a Kit Kat. It's got little... Oh, it smells so good. Oh my okay, God. Okay, because you just put your nasty nose on yeah. it. Ew. <laughs> I don't usually like strawberry flavored mm -hmm. things. I'll probably just eat this one. So good. It's got the strawberry cheesecake flavor mm -hmm. there. It's got a tiny bit of crunch, just like you would in the crust. And it's got the nice chocolatey finish to round out the whole thing. So that's really good. It's so good. And it's definitely better than this one. Now, just because I don't like strawberry, I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. I'm gonna also give it a four and a half. Solid mm. candy. I could eat. I could eat that whole bar, and I don't even like strawberry. Mm. Very good. And it's also got kind of like that tang that the cheesecake, cheesecake has. Tang. Yeah, mm -hmm. cheesecake tang. It's morphin time. Okay, so this is the same as the same brand as the little cupcake thing that we really, really liked. It's also Milka and it's called a Choco Wafer. Three layers of light crispy wafers and fine chocolate cream are covered with delicate Milka Alpine milk chocolate. Gimme that. That looks so good. It's so big. Mmm. Do you hear that crunch? I love this chocolate. I like the wafer in there too, because there's actually enough of it that you can actually taste the wafer. Yeah, it's good. That's really good. Give me more. I want more. Mons. You hear that crunch? I love that. I'm going to give it a five out of five. That is a solid five, just like its counterpart here, the cake and choco. I'm going to give it a four. Four out of five? Wow. Mm -hmm. Really? I'm honestly really surprised that I liked so much of it, because I feel like I'm a very picky eater. Yeah, me too. So the fact that I found so many things that I would, I mean, I'm the same way. I pretty much eat everything out of this box, except for maybe the chalk stuff and the cola, yeah. which they didn't taste bad. Just not my kind of a snack. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button down there. And also make for sure to hit this little I button if you want to see us try British candy in our last video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.